And so the topic I'm going to talk about today is about uh, metadata harmonization in spatial data infrastructures. And so first, uh, what is uh, spatial data infrastructures? So basically, they are like a, a master website which uh, support uh, the data acquisition, processing, uh, distribution, uh, maintenance, and preser preservation, especially for geospatial data. And there are many examples uh, of SDI. So for example, in US, we have data to the government. Basically, they contain the data from the previous uh, geospatial one stop. And they also have data from other um, federal agencies. And in Europe, we have uh, uh, Inspire, which is uh, the um, data infrastructure and uh, contains data from different countries in Europe. So as you can see that uh, in this uh, uh, SDI, generally, um, there are multiple data providers, uh, multiple data providers which may come from different countries or come from different agencies. And uh, to ensure the quality of metadata, different standards have been established. However, the, the different data providers, they can choose the different standards to contribute to their data. So what may happen is that there may be a coexistence of multiple standards in, a, in the same um, spatial data infrastructure. So now the question is, uh, could we automatically classify these uh, um, uh, data in different standards to facilitate uh, data integration? So in this work, uh, we propose using a machine learning approach, and uh, we learn from the existing classification data from data.government. And uh, in total, we have retrieved uh, more than 25,000 uh, metadata records, um, which are manually standardized uh, by data providers uh, from data.government. And uh, we learn from their textual titles and uh, descriptions, and uh, we predict uh, the categories in the target uh, standard, for example, the international standard, and 19115. So this is a, <clears throat> a simple workflow for our approach. So here you can see we have our training data, which is from the data of government. And then we also have our model, which we use a labeled LDA model. And then train, and the train the results, train the model is here. And from the raw data, we extract the features and input them into the training model. And then we get our output result. So, um, um, by doing a evaluation, we compare our uh, method with the naive Bayesian approach. And uh, here, this is a precision and the recall curve. And uh, generally, our results show the better performance. And uh, so here is the conclusion. So spatial data infrastructures, they provide integrated access to a rich amount of geospatial resources. And the multiple um, metadata standards, they can be used when different data provider contribute to their data. And we propose using a machine learning approach to automatically harmonize the categorization. And uh, so far, we have only used the, the texture and descriptions. And the future work can also use other data. So thank you.